Hello and welcome. This is H with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Back again here with the uh, SQL Lite and uh, Android Studio. So we've already looked at the, the DBM Manager and the SQL Database Helper. So now we're going to start looking at the main activity. Now main activity um, is amazingly short. And we'll look at the um, basic aspects of uh, main activity as well as add and modify. All right, so let's go into here. Of course, we've got the open, all the opening gambits. And then we have this, the adapter equals new simple cursor adapter. Now, simple cursor adapter, as it says here, and this is why I put this note here, it, it's an adapter, which conveniently was called this uh, variable adapter, to map columns from a cursor to a view defined in the XML. So that is all assigned to adapter, and then adapter notify data set changed, and then the notify data set change notifies the attached observer that the underlying data has been changed, and if any view reflecting the data should uh, refresh itself. So that's basically refreshing the view, and then list view set adapter is that's where they set it. So that's how that works. Uh, when you set it up and run it, um, this is going to be in here showing us the main view, basically. All right, now, uh, list view on, on click listener for the list items works the modify address aspect. Now, when you, got a, when you have a record in here and you click on it and it opens to the modify, which uses the modify address, uh, this right here loads the view all right now because you're modifying an address there's already information here so you have to already load the previous information there and then you have to you know put it to a string and then you have to modify it so that's uh, pretty much a, a multi-step process right there and that's what that is on the on click listener aspect of that and then, of course, we've got the little icon up here on the bar, and this is all of that. So that includes this, and when it opens up, it's the add record aspect of that. Add address that class. So that's what that is. Okay, so we covered the main activity. All right, let's go to add address. All right, the start of this is pretty simple. Uh, set title, set content view, a couple of variables. Uh, we have to open the, uh, the database to work with it. And this is the add to do button, so on click, click listener. All right, now let's get into this. Um, this is the insert command that we, we talked about, um, insert, uh, open, close, and all that kind of stuff earlier. Um, after inserting data in the database with this, uh, you should close the database connection. And this is the closing connection, closing database connection. Now, this actually will work without this, but it's good etiquette and good future planning to always close your databases uh, when you're when you're done with them. All right, so you're wondering, well, you know, where does this stuff come from? Another thing you can do is if you ever wonder where bits and pieces come from, you can just right click on them and do things like go to declaration and it takes you over here to the database manager and then you see the open and then the close right here uh, so both of these can be found in the database manager back in the add address we've got this intent set flags flag activity clear top and i will put a link in the description so you can read more about flag activity clear top and intent and this can be found on the Android developer side under intent. And if you look up flag activity clear top, it'll give a, a quick definition as well as a much more in-depth discussion on uh, flag activity clear top. So that should be useful. Now let's turn to modify address for a real quick view of it. All right, so um, open it up with a whole bunch of variables, uh, set the title. Now the two primary aspects, of course, of modify address are up the update button and the delete button. And they use a case switch down here. And in the case of the 
Update button. I use this and it goes down here and this is the, the major part of it, the db.update and that's in that argument right there. And in the case of the delete button, it does the db.delete and this based on the ID or the key. All right, now before we turn to the XML, I wanted to show you an aspect of the key uh, that, we're that you use in this uh, app. Now on my emulator, I've loaded up three simulated names and addresses, one, two, and three. Now if I were to go into here, choose this record, and delete it, it goes away, but it says one and three. Now that seems like an error because we're no, usually used to sequentially numbered um, lists. Um, this is not a sequentially numbered list as we're used to. And let me show you why. I've created this, uh, this simple uh, access database here. And you'll notice this is the ID, very similar, well, exactly similar to what we're using in our app. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Now these are the keys. And if you'll notice, if you delete this, delete record. Yes. The key does not roll over. One, two, four, five. Three is completely gone. And then the next key, when you put a new name in there, It's six. And then this is because these are keys. These are not sequentially numbering one, two, three, four, and five. These are actually unique identifiers for each row. Um, so and that's one of the reasons why it would be useful to have some background information of how databases work to understand some of the aspects of SQL Lite. Now, real fast, I'd like to go into the XML and take a look at some of the XML. Um, more important factors in here are, of course, the, you know, just the way it looks, but the ID list view. Uh, these names, of course, are all very important. And if I come in here to, to design, nothing shows up. Now, the reason that is, is because I recently downloaded the Android N preview. Not really a good idea for anybody who wants to see anything show up so I'm going to downgrade to 23 and I get a much better view of what it's supposed to look like uh, rather than the messed up view of N. So if you're having that problem and you've downloaded N, uh, that will fix it. Activity main, uh, some of the name conventions I used, a little weak, but uh, it works. Um, list view, empty, no embellishments whatsoever on the ID. The add record. Now for the add record, I put it add in front of all these names, including the button, which is add add record uh, to identify which XML they come from. It's less confusing if you know exactly where these names come from when you see them. Uh, modify record. Now modify record, I didn't actually do anything with the names. They're just left alone. Button, button, fill, address, because there wasn't any confusion because on view, I put view in front of all the, the ID names. Uh, so th that's relatively easy to find which ones are which. Now, the reason I did this, because you can actually give some of these IDs um, the exact same name uh, if you wanted to, and it would work, but it gets confusing when you're looking at it and trying to follow uh, the trail of what's going on. And of course, the menu, uh, nothing that we haven't seen here before. All right, so there is all that, and uh, that explains the basics of how this app is working. Now, if you really, really want to learn how this stuff works and how all these different aspects of uh, the program work together, there's some things you can do. For instance, go into one of your XMLs, go to something you want to find, Go to right click, find usages, and it will open up this down here at the bottom. And you can just double click here and it'll take you to the exact spot it is being used. That that is very helpful because then you know which aspects is being are being used where, and then you can get an idea of, hey, this is what this does. Another thing that you can do 
and I suggest you do this, is you go to SQL database and you see these, change them. Change them to my address, all caps, and my name, and my ID. Um, that, that would allow you to completely mess up your entire app and then have to go back in and find all the instances of the use of this, read it, understand it, and then replace it with your version of my address, my name. Now my ID uh, is gonna be difficult because it's used uh, in so many different ways. So possibly not the best idea to mess with my ID, but you can still do it because you can always go back and, and fix it. All right, so there's that. But do that with any of the uh, variables that you find. Um, and these, these you can change too because these are the keys and the keys are used going to be used differently uh, than these variables right here. Uh, so I would suggest at least trying and changing one of the keys like to my underscore address and then find out where the errors are and find out how that key is used and uh, that would be that would be very useful um, and I'll help you understand all the the different changes and aspects of this another thing any of these things you can come in here and change any of these uh, these variables and find out how to fix it after you've changed it and that will help you immensely get into the deep understand deeper understanding of how uh, this is working so um, that's your homework assignment. Um, I hope you've learned something and uh, I'll put this code up on my website and of course you'll be able to find it there and uh, see the links below for other resources and uh, this is Aceless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial and I hope you walk away with a better understanding of how this works. Thanks and uh, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you around. <laughs>